We learn that our prayers are faithful and that these are the prayers pleased to come for it. We pray for those who care for the sick and most good. We give thanks for the skills and the commitment of doctors, nurses and carers. May they continue to reflect the compassion and healing of God who is made known to us in Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus. We pray for all who mourn. May their tears be wiped away, and may their, their mourning be turned into joy. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus. We remember and pray for those who do not have access to basic health care, adequate food, or shelter. We give thanks for our blessings and pray that the ways of justice and may peace may prevail throughout the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, Jesus. Lord, Jesus. We pray. We pray for Brian, may God receive him kindly, with generosity and forgiveness, and the rewards of his faith. May he continue to inspire us to intercede for us, and be there at the end to welcome us in our turn into eternal life. Lord, hear us. We pray for all in the school community, past and present, that as we continue in our work, help us to be understanding and forgiving for all the, those we encounter. Show us how you serve one another to offer love, care, and support. Lord, hear us. Lord, We ask Mary, our blessed mother, to proceed for us this day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you, O woman. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and our death. Amen. As we bring our offerings forward, we pray we may rightly dispose of the celebration of the mystery of the cross, which St. Francis of the Seasonly ardently embraced. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Father, most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom made all things and sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of a virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured a passion, so as to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so of all the angels and the saints we declare your glory as so one voice we claim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray. 
by setting down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered one into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of our faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give thanks you held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, Dono, all our bishops, the clergy, and all our people. God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and for Brian for whom we offer this Mass this day, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of our God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, the blessed Apostles, St. Francis of Assisi, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, and Heavenly Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As God's family, now we pray in the words Jesus himself has taught us Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. I recently gone her peace in unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you think we the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you think the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you think we the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof. When we say the word, and my soul shall be. Blessed are the poor spirit, there is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah.
that and one said, it is foolish and wrong to mourn men who die. Rather, we should thank God that such men live, and that is certainly true by all. A colossus and an icon are the most common words used to describe icons. He was a big, powerful, imposing man with a big, powerful, imposing personality. His stature both on and off the field was much greater than the sum of his performances. Brian will forever be remembered as a giant of Haley Games. And much has been written about his exploits on the field over the last few days. But we will remember him for his contribution he made to the development of this school and the pupils who thrived on his leadership. When Brian, when Brian arrived back in 1991 in the school, he took it upon himself to meet each and every one of the teaching staff individually before the start of the academic year and reassured us that our contributions were valued and we would be supported. He would manage by walking around and not walking away. I don't think any of us ever thought that he would walk away. It was never in his nature to do so. His legacy in the school can be seen in both the pastoral care structure of the school and in the development of the campus. After arising from Greendale, where he was employed to teach history and geography, he set about setting up the class teacher yearhead system, which still endures to this day. A system that has helped both students and staff over the years of Brian Green continue to do so. He recognised the need for an assembly hall and realised very quickly that the department were not going to fund it. He quickly set about raising the required monies with the help of his trusted ally Veronica. Together they quickly amassed the required funds and the result was the hall in which you celebrate this mass today. Classroom accommodation and special students were a further problem as the school had grown rapidly from 800 pupils in the 1970s to almost 1,700 pupils in the mid-90s. He used all his political noise and departmental contacts to get the approval and the funding to build the arts, or to build technology doctor. Thousands of the students have had their experience in CCNS enhanced by the vision and drive that Brian Holmes had. After he left the school to take up the position as director of Sport UCD, he continued to have a healthy interest in the school, its development, and its students. He was always supportive in assisting students who had applied for sports scholarships and kept a healthy eye on any of the students who enrolled in the university. Whenever called upon to help, he would never find wanting and would do whatever he could to help the students. I can recall when we needed to raise significant funds to send a team of students to represent Ireland in the World Cup Crowd Competition in 2017, Brian wasn't shy about contacting some of his friends in New York and calling in some favours to make sure that the experience the students had was one that they would never forget. His continued interest in the school and the students is something we will never forget in CCS and will live in the memory of us all, of all who knew him and who counted him as a friend. Brian was also a man who liked the phone on the crack. While he was a senior pupil in Thoman College, Brian was a mentor to the freshers. A good friend of mine was one of those freshers. Brian's responsibilities included inducting the new students and helping them to orientate themselves. By looking at their timetables, Brian suddenly drew out a sharp breath and said, Lads, see that dance teacher? She will make your life hell if you don't have the right gear on from day one. Brian knew the college has designated Leo Turns as suitable for the dance class, but had omitted to make any distinction between the male and female students. The freshers who idolized Brian took his advice, set off to procure the appropriate gear. The morning of the first dance class, Brian and the other senior students just happened to be in the gym with a few warm ups. When the eager dance teach, when the eager dance when, when the when the young eager dance students all appeared in their new apparel, the light of the brain gave them the heads up. One of the other senior students advised the lads that the teacher liked order, so they should all line up against the wall and do a few stretches while they were waiting for your ride. When the said teacher entered the gym and saw the light of the young men dressed in leotards trying to do a few dance stretches, she burst into laughter. 
while Brian and the other uh, lads faced a hasty retreat. As principal, he had to deal with a fair share of tragedy. And it was at these times that the caring, compassionate, and empathetic Brian was always in them. This is the sight that the public and the media rarely saw. And in all the articles that I read with Brian over the weekend, they focused on public and prayers and leadership of the faith and never talked about the compassion that so many of us witnessed over his time here. On a cold December Friday evening, and Father Brian, you would have called this, but we were playing our usual five side game in the gym when we got caught the news that one of our students had been knocked down getting off the bus. Brian and Father Breaker rushed to the scene and time to console the family, but unfortunately, one of our students, John Edward McLaughlin, who was a promising young athlete, was tragically taken from us. Brian felt that loss as much as if it, as, as it had been one of his own. We extend our sympathies to Helen, Bernard, Padraig, Jackie, Nathan, his grandchildren, Luke, Adam, Eve, Alex, Grace, Sophie, Daniel, Sadie, Zach, and Cody, and his partner Elizabeth. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the choir, Siobhan and Aubrey, for great of the music, for Serena for helping God with his mass, and for Paddy, Father Paddy Baker, for celebrating the mass today and allowing us to reflect on the time that Brian had with us. And I'm going to finish with the reflection. Now, Serena chose this reflection. But when I started to think about Brian's life in the school, and John Edwards was the one that came to mind, I pulled out John Edwards' memorial card. And it was the same reflection was on the back of that memorial card. It's called Togetherness. Death is nothing at all. I have only stepped away into the next room. I am I. You are you. Whatever we were to each other, that we still are. Call me by my old familiar name. Speak to me in the easy way you always use. Put no difference into your tone. Wear no forced air of solemnity or sorrow. Laugh as always, laugh as we always laugh, at the little jokes we enjoy together. Play, smile, think of me, pray for me. Let my name be the household name it always was. Let it be spoken without the shadow of a ghost in it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same as it ever was. What is death but a negligible accident? Why should I be out of your mind because I am out of your sight? I am waiting for you, for an interval somewhere near you, just around the corner. All is well. Nothing is past, nothing is lost. One brief moment and all will be as it was before. Only better, infinitely happier and forever. We will all be one in Christ. Lord, through these holy gifts which we have received this day, imitating the charity of the apostolic seal of St. Francis, we may experience the effects of your love and spread them everywhere for the salvation of all people, and may God grant eternal peace and regard to the soul of Brian Lawrence. Just before the final lesson, and once again, to say this to the and all the staff here, past and present, and the boys and girls with us, it's a great honour for me to be here this morning to honour this great man, Brian Mullen. So thank you for making this occasion so, so special as we offer this Mass for the happy repose of his soul. Good to see uh, people again after all the years. We haven't changed, sure we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Sam, Sam. Thank you for all the help in the Mass. And I must say, the choir are outstanding. Fabulous. <laughs> It's also great to be back in Donegal, just moving across from Derry to Fawn, so I'm sure the Donegal man there as well. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And the God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is headed. We go in peace to God and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.